Okay, back in the world of pentatonics, I said earlier that these were really, really versatile scales and can be used in lots of different ways. I just want to show you a couple of ways to use those. We've already talked about playing over the minor chord, one single minor chord. It's also possible that you can play the same pentatonic against different minor chords, and this will work very well for you. So just to give you an example of that, uh, I'll just play over two minor chords, A minor and E minor, which you're familiar with from these open string chords that I showed you. So here are the two chords. And you can see how this very effectively, you begin to make music out of, again, that single box shape. What I'm doing is I'm making a couple of little bends in other places, which I'll mention to you. Similar to this one here, I'm doing the same one in the higher octave. And this is just to give it a little bit of vocal expression. In fact, one very good way to develop your improvising is actually sing the lines. It doesn't matter if you're not a great singer, but actually phrase the lines with the guitar rather than just simply play up and down the scale. Just phrase the lines and you'll find that they are much more musical as a result of doing that. Another thing you can do with the pentatonics, as I said before, is to move them into different positions. So for example, if I had the uh, chord of A minor going to D minor, I could shift the whole pentatonic scale up to the D minor position. So it's played in the A minor here, in that octave. I can simply shift that up to the D position and play it there. 